Hello Tyler Monty, I thought I would give you a quick video response to your question about how to concatenate two people columns. So let's just have a look at my list. I've got a title, person one, person two, and all people. Person one and person two are just a personal group and they do not allow multiple selections and all people does allow multiple selections. So let's <clears throat> just quickly build this. I'm gonna say when an item is created, list name test answer, that's my list. I'm gonna add a new step, compose. I'm gonna call this all people. I'm just gonna build an array. <clears throat> I'm going to call it claims. That's one entry. I'm going to go again. Claims. That's the second entry. In there, I'm going to put person one claims. In there, I'm going to put person two claims. And that is the array built. Then I'm going to go update item. Pick the same <coughs> um, site and list. The ID is going to be the ID of when an item is created. Same with the title. And then I'm going to just switch this to an array. I'm going to put in the output of all people. I'm just going to save that. Right, so now I'll go back to my list. I'll create a new item. Put a person in there. Put a person in there. Save it. And this flow should run sh soon. has run, we can see it's run now. There we go. So all this all people came to have in it was that. And then we just did an update item with that. And that's all there is to it. See how you get on with that, it's a bit simpler than your current approach. Cheers, bye bye.